Good morning everyone how are you guys doing today I did want to share with you guys um, some wonderful tips that you can go for to go to an interview if you get called for an interview um, tip number one would be basically make sure you dress the best um, get out your best clothes you know whatever you have to do to look very sharp and clean cut and everything so that way when you go in there you know um, you're leaving with a good impression of yourself um, and also that would be part two um, would be to sell yourself because there are many people that are applying for the same position that you're applying for so you need to leave them with a feeling of what makes you different what made you stand out from everybody else you know what basically you know got them to the point to pick you for this one position that's available so you want to make sure you're selling yourself and relax you know relax and basically just remember that they are people too you know just like yourselves you know they're no one important you know they're just in a higher position that makes the decision if they're going to keep you into that role or not or find someone else uh, so basically just relax and you know do whatever you have to do now me I have been jamming to music and um, listening to some great songs uh, upbeat songs to get me motivated and get me energetic because you do not want to go in there all sluggish and tired and you know even if you had to work you know overnight or something and you had to get called in for this interview at you know eight o'clock in the morning you still want to be full of energy because again you want to sell yourself um, they'll probably ask you a lot of questions so you want to make sure that you answer the questions to the fullest um, you can never say too much you know it's better to say enough than not enough and leave feeling like oh my god I should have said this or oh I should have said that maybe I would have got the job um, be honest, you know, be honest to the business or organization that you're applying for. And um, another great tip that I can give you guys is make sure you're prepared. You know, I have a binder, a little folder with some paper in it, a pen. I've got some phone numbers. I've got um, two forms of ID, anything that I need. That way, just in case they ask for it, you know, I'm right there, I have it. I don't have to be like, well, I left it at home. Um, because that's kind of kind of be awkward because you're not prepared. And they're looking for someone who's organized, um, one who can prepare for themselves. And if you can't prepare for an interview, you cannot prepare every day to go do your job. So prepare yourself. And um, definitely, you know, the only thing that I can actually tell you is also be on time. And I left very early this morning just because of traffic. And if you can see, let me see, there is tons of traffic, which is slowing me down. So, which is a good thing because I'm not freaking out because I have plenty and plenty of time. I still actually have an hour and 20 minutes and I'm probably 30 minutes away from the place that I have to be. So I am, like I said, relaxed, laid back, and I'm not really nervous or anything. So I hope that all of these things help you with it, your interview process um, and good luck good luck to you guys that are going for interviews but remember be yourself and sell yourself and smile make sure you smile and communicate um, openly and easily do not feel nervous or anything you know like I said they're only people too and all they want to know is why should they pick you out of these other candidates you know and that's all they're looking for they're not wanting to know you personally or anything they just want to answer some questions ask some questions and get your feedback on how you know you would deal with the company that you're applying for so and if you don't make it don't give up don't give up don't get discouraged try again there's millions of places out there again there's a million people going for the same position you know sometimes but continue to press on move forward because you know just you might get 50 no's but that 51 might be the yes and if you give up after your 50th then you know you'll never know what you can get and I look forward to talking to you again bye guys
Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll.